There's currently a snowstorm going on in Minnesota, and Tim Turry, Dan Reichert, and myself, Andrew Reiner, are the only three people in the office, and Jason A. Striker, our, our producer, <laughs> our video producer. Um, if that bridge was in Minnesota, it'd be covered with ice, and I would have slid right through the intersection right after it. I slid through one intersection, too. It's horrible. It took me like an hour and a half to get to work. Uh, this is Friday. The day before this episode's airing, like we pushed it, we had a horrible week. But we, uh, we do it for everyone watching, right? We do. We do. We do. I had to have Tim give me a ride because I couldn't get my damn car but, out of a thing. But I mean, at least we get to play Metal Gear Solid 2, right? <laughs> That's what George Washington Bridge, right? Isn't yeah. yep. this philanthropy, anti Metal Gear organization? Awesome. I mean, it's a PlayStation 2 game. I know that for sure. You yep. do. Uh, I don't remember. I don't recognize this intro. This in is Metal the Metal alternate opening you get if you beat it on European Extreme. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That's Gargoyle Snake. <laughs> okay. Oh. Little first person stuff. We were flying. You see, that's interesting. It just went from being a camera <laughs> to a person. I think that's clever. I'm on board with this so far. Nexus is a bad name for a fake demon nightclub. You're and either you're either Nexus or against us. This is Primal, developed by Sony Cambridge Studios, the team that did Medieval. Okay. You guys oh, remember that, right? That game was good. Yeah. Sir uh, Galahad, or what was his name? Sure. It's the skeleton so, guy. Reiner, I think you might actually be wrong there. I think that this is the game that they were developing in Grandma's Boy starring Ellen Colbert. <laughs> <laughs> what was that called? It was demonic, actually. Oh, okay. But I forgot about this, that. Like, what we've seen of the opening You said they. Scene, it was just one guy. Ellen Colbert by himself. <laughs> yeah. On his Xbox. <laughs> his grandma would play it. Actually, this is reminding me a little bit of Dark. You remember? Oh, the vampire thing. Yeah. Ryan remembers nope. that. Nope. Don't remember at all. I remember Dan trying to cheat in that in our live stream. Did not, no, I just played it on a user difficulty, didn't I? Yeah, but the whole goal, the whole challenge was to beat it on normal. And you switched the difficulty before I came downstairs. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to be dying that, all the time. That, dude, that dude's not uh, conspicuous at all that's walking through the crowd. Did you see him with, like, the trench coat. Oh, yeah. He looks like he's two monsters, two small <laughs> monsters stacked on top of each other. Actually, he kind of reminds me of that dude from Resident Evil 4 that's hanging out with Te Salazar uh, that you fight and, like, have to freeze and stuff. I thought you were going to a Wayne's World reference. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'd like to get by now. <laughs> I think I saw another demon there. Yeah, there's a bunch of demons, dude. Yeah, but he's... Or no, that's just a cool haircut. I, those might be horns. Uh, looks like a haircut. Oh, yeah, you're right. He looks like, uh, he looked like, um, Koopa from the Mario Brothers movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that blood? No. He's shaving Sinister. after the show. Are you one of them badass <laughs> rock stars? Oh, Jen. You scared the crap out of me. I'm sorry, babe. Hey. Hey, hey, Lewis, what's hmm. up? She looks like last Jen. <laughs> last Jen. Speaking of puns, Tim Turry, you had a hell of a weekend last week. Uh, what yeah. are you guys talking about? Tim went to the Pundemonium Pun Slam at Club Underground. It was a like rap battle, but for puns. My dad saw a poster of it when he was in town, and he said, hey, you got to tell uh, Hat Boy about this. Tim is Hat Boy. Um, I wore so hat I, once. Yeah, <laughs> so I talked to Tim, and uh, we went to it. We got a big group together. Tim was the only one brave enough to enter it. And his first time there, he wins the damn thing. I was a judge, but I was impartial. Come on! <laughs> I was I was impartial. Yeah, you you actually I, I went, was really proud of Tim until you they said did, that. They, the host was referring to me as the jerk table but, but because I was being really mean. Don't with worry, my they scores. throw they throw out the lowest and the highest score. No, they so, don't. So they do. No, they don't. Yeah. What? Yeah, they do. That's how they do those kind of story slam, fun slam things. I don't I don't remember them saying it for this one. Yeah, they they didn't tell you that, but they do that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, Tim did a great job, and he had to do a rap battle thing with zoo puns and colors or something, right? Yeah, colors, zoo puns, and robots. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, there's two zoos in Minnesota. It was a local joke. There's uh, the Como Zoo, and there's Minnesota Zoo, and I would, made a dumb joke about being partial to the Minnesota Zoo because I'm comophobic. Uh, Ooh, pretty good one. I like it. it Off like the it. top of his damn head, he came up with that. Very stupid He stuff. does it all the time on replay. I know. That's I, why we knew he was going to be uh, good. I was actually thinking today, I made a, in that zoo portion, I made a Penguin Stefani <laughs> reference. And I was thinking I should have been, I should have made another joke going off of that. That is, I'm just a gorilla. It would have been a, probably a decent one to go off of. <laughs> that's pretty good, yeah. But, you is there know, any Hollaback Girl thing you could do? <laughs> um... Oh, lots of stuff has happened while we've been talking about <laughs> yeah, this Yeah, by the slam. way, just to point out, that creepy, you know, two-story guy, nobody noticed, like, he was out of the ordinary until he knocked down a door. <laughs> yeah, no, no kidding. He was really menacing, though. I actually kind of liked They're him. They're paying attention to the cool, badass rock stars on the stage. 
which I think was the Avenged oh. Sevenfold scene from the end of Black Ops 2. I ain't no koala back girl. <laughs> there you Is go, Tim. <laughs> Could have got an extra point from me, the impartial Thanks. judge. She's okay. She's going to make it. Just straighten your hair. We got you some medical <laughs> pigtails <laughs> in. <laughs> no, it's yeah. Gendo. <laughs> Came in two nights ago. Jen Kwando. Come round yet. Jendo stick. She's a fighter, though. I've lost plenty. She just got her ass kicked by a giant demon <laughs> and left for dead on an alleyway. <laughs> She's fighting to stay alive. Was she hit by a truck? Yeah, she left some nightclub with her boyfriend. Yeah, looks like a gang jumped them. Left her lying outside the club. They found him several blocks away. He's in the room three doors down. So. <laughs> What do you Kryptonite. 50-50. <laughs> Come on, Doctor. They're really trying to be super subtle with their voice acting. Need your attention. <laughs> he sounds like someone. This man needs coffee. Sounds like Ed Norton. Look! I see oh someone! Oh my god, there's a little demon fella. <laughs> Me. <laughs> uh... Here comes Shmi. <laughs> Here. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> oh, she's just fully dressed in her dumb outfit. <laughs> that was one freaky dream. This a picture of Krang on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's a cool hospital. <laughs> right next to the cross. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm dead? No, no, no. I don't want to be dead. Things were just starting to work out. Lewis and I were just... She's being really cranksty. Lewis. I'm sorry. I feel weird every time I make a pun <laughs> now after that <laughs> dumb thing. <laughs> You're being judged every time. I know. Huh? That's what a tale, right? You? Uh -huh. short for the okay. Grim Reaper, aren't you? Pretty calm about this whole dying dead, thing. Jennifer, but if you don't yeah, she had a five-minute freak out, or five seconds. <laughs> My name is... Well... Let's Not the voice I expected. <laughs> Scree! Scree! To find you. That's a pretty good Show name for a gargoyle, <laughs> actually. Things and to enlist your With assistance. a fanny pack? <laughs> right. Well, Scree. Glad I'm not dead. I like how those doctors went to go get donuts and she just died she immediately. Just me out. <laughs> but wait, is she dead? Form. Yeah, there's some... She is still no, fine. they just said that she's not dead. Oh, yeah. 50 50 close to death. Oh, so she's having like an out-of-body... Yeah, her vitals are fine. That is only part of do you have a little satchel? She looks like a Mortal Kombat character. Yeah, why did she yeah. think she was dead? Clearly, you still have a heartbeat, woman. Right. Yeah, when you, the first thing you see when you wake up is your own corpse would probably freak out for a second. Imagined. Right. So, I'm like an astral projection or something. Essentially, yes. Oh, look at that so cool tad. I am Sick but a tat. humble servant to my lady. <laughs> and to you, I'm a friend. This lady. Someone you need to trust. Now quickly, you must come with me. We're both vulnerable. I gotta say, if I saw okay. this game back in the day, but only I would have been I'm pretty intrigued. impressed. I think this looks pretty good. Yeah. This is 2003. Yeah, like, it's, it's last gen, gen, but it was last, last gen. It was last, last this gen. This is over a decade old, yeah. Yeah. I, I think it looks pretty cool. It's yeah. pretty cinematic. It's not That's super cho hokey yet. We'll see how it controls, because... I mean, yeah. you were saying you, you weren't a huge fan of it, right? No. Uh, what the you'll see why. Presentation-wise, graphics-wise, really God. great. But the uh, the puzzles, the door puzzles, are happened? terrible, and mm. that's mostly what it is. Where are we? Door puzzles. We're no longer in Mortalis. This also seems Mortal Kombat-y. I'm sorry if I wasn't paying attention when you said the developer. Uh, uh, huh? Cambridge Studios. Okay. Sony. Uh, published by Sony for PlayStation 2. Okay. March 25th, 2003. Do we know off the top of our heads if they did anything else of... Medieval. Medieval. Medieval was those. Where were you? He was thinking I was, of puns. <laughs> I honestly probably was. He was in was. the same plane as her. My brain has been rewired. It's really gross. I actually was talking to myself earlier today saying something about like how I was being selfish and I out loud to myself said shellfish. Like, I, ah, I was freaked out by it. I was really freaked out by it, but anyway. That's like in games or... I guess they don't really do it in movies, but games and comics, there's always characters talking to themselves, just walking around. It's true. It's like, who does that? I guess Tim Turry. I, do, I was doing that. Very confusing. Jen. I am to give you these. They are devices that will help you to learn of your true self. 
I bet those are hot. Correct, those things Forrest Gump for? Oh yeah, splints. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. It's a van brace. They fasten around <laughs> your wrists. A van brace. I thought those were van braces. That you trust me and just I guess I was wrong. On. I've just jumped out of my skin, left my body in some hospital, been dragged through a rift gate. Rift gate? Rift raft gate. Rift. <laughs> and oh. I'm in oblivion. Takes a like neon nation. Pistachio. Yeah. Not a problem. A neon pistachio. Precisely. <laughs> what? God, that Ooh, riff raft thing was shiny. weird. <laughs> and pretty comfy for a pair of metal doodads. Could have been made for me. Shut up. <laughs> they were. So, uh, they were. I like that. I don't see them all. <laughs> that was kind of yeah, clever. one. <laughs> You Shut don't. up. <laughs> Tim, have you ever seen Spy Hard? Uh, gosh, that's Leslie, Leslie Nielsen. Nielsen. Yeah, it's basically like Police Squad. But yeah. Yeah, extent. Uh, I don't know. Mentioning. I probably have. My dad and I were drunk the other night, and we saw it on TV, and there's one line that I thought you'd like. It's just some guy, like his little, uh, his friend who's like South American or something, he tells Leslie Nielsen, he's like, we have a saying in my country. Leslie Nielsen just goes, I'm sure you do. <laughs> just the most dismissive off. thing. Yeah. I like that. They never finish it. He's so great. I, I actually was thinking of going back and watching all the original police squads, because just for those, like, end credits things they do, like the freeze frame, yeah. and like crap will happen, like they'll be interrogating like a bad guy, and then he'll just like they'll do their freeze frame like the credits thing and the bad guy's like what are you guys doing and he'll just leave yeah anyway Abaddon. Abaddon that's a game I had that for the NES that was a shooter where you go into a, a big uh, inside of a body and you're oh, fighting yeah. through intestines and stuff it's creepy eyeballs are flying at you and stuff sounds like my sounds this like might be the first replay right. that we don't play yeah <laughs> You it's, know you're gonna have to introduce. I'm afraid that if I skip this, though, that we're not. We gonna won't know what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I shall. And shall yeah, I guess your Metal Gear Two reference was uh, kind of appropriate. Those wings, the textures on them are see-through. That's actually pretty impressive. Oh wow! Yeah. Like the membrane. Yeah. Huh. Will all this start making? God, they probably they had a budget, huh? Yeah. But evil was fun. Yeah, it was. My head spinning. And Sony always does a good job with their studios. Yeah, no kidding. Especially like Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog. You think about like the the sort of liberties and like the resources they have. I'm so excited for what they do next. Got to help me find him. I mean, I know Uncharted is part of that, but it was a giant instruction manual. Tag. Oh hey. Oh yeah. What's in there, Dan? Uh, He's playing. So civilization is only skin deep. Don't know what the hell that means. That doesn't mean anything. This <laughs> way. I can't jump yet. It seems like maybe the camera controls are inverted. But I'll be fine. Holy light. I'm getting sort of like a, a Soul Reaver vibe, too. Yeah. The I wanna, tone. I want to go back. I wish they would remake those games. I got like this weird urge to play some like PlayStation games, some old PlayStation games. Her legs seem long. Uh, mm, yeah. The lanky gal. Jack Skellington. <laughs> With the might of chaos. You go all the way from her hips to her feet. A balance between them must also be fought. Is this a puzzle? Here at the heart of the nexus is where that happens. Drawing in the two primal forces, governing... Yeah, we might make this look pretty good within this, you know, brief look. That is the awesome yeah, that's okay. That's the thing, you know, it, because it'd be cool if people were kind awesome. of... If they saw this game Sketch. and they picked it up and they played it and then told us how they thought. I'd love to hear what people have to say Someone about... Actually, that's really interesting. One of my favorite things that people do when they watch replay and they, like, you know, tweet or post in the Facebook overblood group about finding it out in the wild, like Ill Bleed. People are buying Ill Bleed and Overblood. I love seeing that. Yeah, yeah. it's great. As, as bad as I feel for a lot of them. There's a whole lot of stuff going on here. You can turn into different demons. You can turn into a wraith and shift time. You can uh, turn open into doors. a feral and you can run faster and jump higher. Colin, Colin or Will? What did you say? What'd you say? Colin or Will? Oh, I thought you said something about feral. <laughs> You can turn into Colin Quinn. That's one of your forms. Uh, yeah, there's like four different forms you can turn into here. Turn into stone, like a tanuki suit. <laughs> you get a rope. Kitty cat. I think the rift gate thing was a typo because it says rift gate. No, no, she was, it was a joke. Oh, just use it like a metal band. Yeah. Okay. Show and stuff. Gotcha. She's pretty cool. She's pretty hip. It looks like it's painful. Yeah. You should just let go of those metal bars. But I guess once you're getting electrocuted, you can't let go, right? That's a thing. We've all seen Home Alone. The mocap was done by Attitude Studio. Attitude. Yeah, Matt Helgeson was the main review for this back in the day. He gave it a 675. 
and uh, I gave it a six, and Matt's pull quote was, in the end, this would be epic as nothing more than a series of lock and key puzzles. So he felt the same way I did. Okay. Is he okay? So it's kind of style over substance. That doesn't Correct. All right. Healthy. The name of the soundtrack album is 16 Volt Super Cool Nothing Version 2.0 by members of Orgy, Crazy Town, and Filter. Break with eternity. Wow. He's <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> that name for that, though. Yeah. Foolishly rocking the I forgot like boat about all the, the words. <laughs> Point oh, 17 volts? <laughs> I think I... 16 volts. All, all one word here. Super Come cool on, nothing Jack, version 2.0. Okay, you okay, said okay, filter was on there? Uh, remixes by members of Orgy, Crazy Town, and Filter. Filter? Those guys were big Game Informer fans. Were, were they? they? Yeah, Andy and I met uh, some of the guys from the band up on... Uh, rooftop in New York for the launch of Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> what? And we were brought by Sony PR over to them and they're like, hey, we're big Game Informer fans. We're like, that's awesome. Cool. Did well, they do the Crash soundtrack? No. <laughs> what was their big, uh, what was their big... Hey, like, Crash, nice shot. Oh, okay, that's the song. <laughs> Good shot, man. Now fire hey. away! Is that it? I don't listen man. to music with lyrics. Good shot, man. This is almost as good as us singing the Silver Surfer music. What was that? That was when we were oh, all. Oh, we hit that note! Oh my yeah. god, we I forgot nailed about it. that. <laughs> that soundtrack is bizarre. <laughs> Look at how much. Okay, I don't, I don't want to get into that mode because there's probably people are getting invo- invested what, in this. But please. you just take a couple steps and then there's another cutscene. Yeah. Oh, this would be frustrating. I presume you have. They definitely went this. for it. They really were setting it up. Indeed, there is a. Remarkable similarity. I kind of like Scree. They are too. identical, you lunk. Come lunk. on. I'm going to start calling people Most lunks. <laughs> hey, Mark, you fava, you lunk. I feel like lunk has to go for someone that's like a little bit, like a I simply can't like a heavy. You know? oh, okay. Like that guy that was can't in the nightclub. Yeah, he's a lunk. Oh, yeah, lunk. lunk. Okay. Yeah, lunk. They got to be at least taller than you. Me, okay, so like a big ogre or lurch type of dude. Or made of stone. It's just a tattoo, god damn it. Lewis God damn it. it was a ruin <laughs> Why is there an apostrophe in front of ancient ruin? <laughs> what is this, she shortening? Was it supposed to be quotes? Yeah, I think so. Ancient. Oh, okay. He wouldn't tell me. Oh, forget it. Everything else going on, that ain't gonna freak me out. She's so on, little guy. level-headed. See, I feel they like- added really weird little physics to her boobs, I just noticed. Really? They just kind of shift up and down. I don't know if they do it outside yep. of cutscenes. Yep. It looked really weird in the cutscenes. Maybe not. Oh, whatever. There's one scene, <laughs> I don't know if anyone remembers this from Final Fantasy VII. There's one scene where Tifa's in it, and her boobs are doing all sorts of stuff. It looks like they are just like helium balloons. Like they're putting on a play or something? It's, no, it's seriously like they're in a different game, and they're just like doing their, their sentient. It is bizarre. <laughs> it's so weird. It's the part where there's like a, a something well, opens yeah. up in the ground, and everyone's like falling or something. It might be when Cloud falls into the live stream. I don't know. Maybe it's like a muscle spasm or something. Could have been. Does that happen? I don't know. Ladies, let us know in the comments. Especially if Tifa's watching. <laughs> Mrs. Lockhart, please let us know. Hey, keep your eyes on. nature, Solom is bleak of climate, but nothing too harsh for its people. The Ferai are strong and resourceful hunters. You say hunters? The worlds cool of Oblivion breath. are each inhabited by a different race, and yes, Oblivion. There I are fierce, yeah, sometimes brutal, Bethesda. I'm gonna say I think it's a cool touch that he doesn't have any breath. Worse, I assure you. Ah, splendid. They ran out of Solomon budget. The <laughs> have always been aligned with order, providing my lady Arella with power. You think the reasoning is now he's made of rock? Screwed up, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> he doesn't have lungs, yes. <laughs> but it looks Thanks like he has a little pink in his mouth. It's his true. It's a it's it's fleshy. All right, I take it back. It wasn't Abaddon. It was Abadox. Was that NES game? Uh, yes. Yes. In truth, neither side can Abaddon. Survive without the other. That sounds like an RPG. Everything yeah. Destroyed. I think I always pronounce it like Abaddon. So the guy's trashing the hmm. status quo, creating chaos. I guess he's doing his Did you job. like the uh, we must do ours, SNES so just or Genesis version of Abaddon? I know that you could get a sword in the Genesis version of Abaddon, <laughs> but... Sorry. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's one of my favorite Disney games. So I much think. more will become clear. <laughs> I thought the frame rate was better on the Super time. Nintendo one. Yeah, that's a good point. Better resolution hey, on look, the Genesis one though. I'm fine. Remember the cover of that game, Phalanx? So what's to be done here? Let's get on with it. 
No. It's yeah, the guy played shooter. a banjo. It's a space shooter, and the cover is an oh. old guy with overalls and a banjo. Here, well, that's great. It, it makes no project. damn sense. It's an art project, dude. We should play that sometime. Games are art. But I do that's know true. Solemn has been tainted by chaos somehow, and we have to restore the natural order. Jeez. He's I'm getting angry. Fair, violent, yeah. but they Too much talking. These look like the Tale of the Sun things where you get your tattoos. Is there a sperm station? Yeah. What? You know, I wasn't on a single episode of that. And I still haven't watched Tale of the Sun. So I have no idea. What you're talking it's still about. my favorite one. It was so much fun to explore that game. All I know about that game is there's like a Ric Flair or something, and then there's another, there's a Hagrid. Ganon. Hagrid. Oh, Ganon. And then uh, you had to walk in a line for a long time, but you would keep on going off course. You guys made your own map. <laughs> wow. But there was a map in the instruction yes. book the entire time. We had a and long you thought lore. things were changing, yeah. but you were just constantly <laughs> screwing up your sense of direction. These are the only things I know about this game. That's all correct. And there's some sort of like uh, hereditary <laughs> thing. like uh, Yeah, because you die, and then the next one in line would come down. So we had a whole lore of who all these guys were. And we had like Steve Buscemi, and there was a Walter Matthau, and Ric Flair. Great names. And uh, do we have a Vader? No, we had a She Vader. Kratos? We had a Kratos, yeah, we had a She Vader, we had Jack Bauer. That's pretty good. Yeah, do you still have the documents somewhere? Before yeah, I, I do, I actually. So oh, as so embarrassing as that is. It, they always post it on the replay so group on Facebook. A long time ago, yeah, yeah. No, it always comes up again, people just like LOLing it. Oh, yeah, yeah. A sound plan of action. Hmm. What's up, Scree? You're gonna play. Yeah. Do you okay. like normal Scree or Chewy Scree? I'll quite happily chewy lead the way Scree? whenever Are you, you think like. Oh! <laughs> uh... <laughs> I like the normal ones. Really? I like Chewy. No, I like what's inside of the normal ones. Yeah, it's pretty good. They're like sweet tarts, though. I wonder if there's like a... Where I buy new upgrades and stuff. I want to go on a shopping spree. Good one. Shop yeah, oh, oh, look I at the see. trees. This is really... You're uh, like really swaying like you're drunk. <laughs> uh, I'm, I am drunk. Uh, right now. This is kind of like outside. I picked a good game. I think I ran for the longest territory. between cutscenes that I had. <laughs> <laughs> you had a solid eight seconds yeah. of gameplay. God. But, it, you know, it's an honest look at how this game starts. Yeah. People will want to see more. I doubt they'd find me too palatable. We should have more games where you're a gargoyle. I feel like there's a lot you could do with that. And she should put on more clothes. It looks cold. I agree. I agree. Oh, I'm gonna do... be Scree. I'm gonna be Scree. Oh, yay. Yeah! All right, cool. <laughs> that does look fun. Ooh. I just hit the circle button, which is, yeah, like the Tanuki thing. And that's the end of the game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> game over. The end of The Shining. <laughs> You're not supposed to hit that button! <laughs> oh, does anyone have a soft or a gold needle? Is that what they do in the RPGs? <laughs> Are those bad fellows? Gentlemen. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Oh, is that why he came in? Because they would have killed her? Oh, oh they're going to oh, kill God. him. <laughs> no thanks, guys. You stay put. I bet you could break that jar. Seems like unless you run right up to him, they won't uh, pay any mind. It doesn't seem like there's any sort of attack yet. Whatever, just forget about that jar. Just keep going. Ooh, the controller vibrated as it rumbled. <laughs> vibrated as it rumbled? Well, as the, the cable. Oh, okay. <laughs> the earth shook. And so did Tim. Ooh, look at the little tracks. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Adorable. Footprints are these. Nice yep. ambience. Can you do any fun rolls or flips like Mario? No, no, I can turn to stone. Whoa, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's different than what Mario can do. Yeah. You can slide on his belly and do all sorts Ooh, of fun things. What's up there, Tim? Yeah, should I should I go up here? Boy, I don't know. Ooh. Has there ever been a 3D game uh, where you, it's as much fun to control than Mario, just running around and dorking around? No. Just dorking around. Just, dork, like, just running around an empty field, the stuff you can do, like the triple jump and the <laughs> sideways flip and all that stuff. It's just so much fun being him and running around climbing trees and stuff. I'm switching characters. Select button. Okay. I think Infamous does a really good job of that, being able to like skate on stuff yeah, and fly and do the boost stuff. That's not as fun as Mario, though. No, no. But that's another good example. Um, Prototype does a pretty good job. There's a map. Um, um, hmm. No, I don't think so. I, I think, think Mario's, Mario's got to be top. It's the yeah. peak, I think. That's something developers should think about. I, I make a platforming game. Make sure your, you know, just your activities that you could do, yeah. your your acrobatics are entertaining th in an open world. I think Meat Meat Boy did a good job with that. He was just fun, really satisfying to control. And yeah. He immediately felt good. Um, 
that was that was definitely one for me that was like that. I also like that first person games like Titanfall are trying to expand on that now because oh, yeah. like Titanfall it's just a blast running around and double jumping and running on walls and stuff. And like I, first person games never have that. I bet Spyro would be a lot of fun if the fields were bigger. Oh yeah. Cuz yeah. you got that charge, you could glide. I thought Spyro yeah. worked really well too just cuz you could like be running and then jump and then glide just if you wanted to. Between the charge and the glide and breathing fire. I mean Spyro is awesome. Yeah, those games are great. Hulk Ultimate Destruction was pretty fun. Yeah. Do a lot of fun stuff mm-hmm. on that. Yeah. Yeah, Mario's, he's the king. Still. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And that kind of applies to all of them. All the 3D ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think this is back to where the alternate path was. Cool lighting. Yeah, it looks good. What? Okay. This should keep those Malkai at bay. Okay, so I'm going to bring this back to her, and then I can ward off those idiots. Puzzle. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's kind of a cool... Like, everything I'm seeing seems kind of cool here. I'm so telling fun. you, it's just all about opening doors. It's <laughs> early. Just basically what I'm doing, like, go find a thing to make it so that we can get through. Right. I mean, okay. you're going to have combat and stuff like that, too. Sure. But, yeah, the uh, it just becomes tedious. It's one of those games where it's like... Man, I really want to like this, but ugh, I got to do this again. Well, at the very least, it seems ambitious. Get out of here, you <laughs> idiots! Mangy, Mangy curves. curves. That's awesome. <laughs> this looks kind of fun. Get oh, out. Where are we gonna go? <laughs> you jerks! <laughs> I'm scree. <laughs> I'm scree. If you need hey, lady. information, just ask me, and I'll do my best to help. All right. Here we go. Well, let's go. Should be good, right? He kind of sounds like Tyrion from Game of Thrones. His voice. Yeah. He should my lady. be on Game of Thrones. He'd be a good addition. Yeah. Come on. Reiner, are you watching True Detective? No. Oh, my God. It's great. I saw people tweeting all sorts of weird pictures yesterday, and I had no idea what was going on. Oh, okay. That's just a joke hashtag thing. Okay, maybe call her in now? Yeah, that, that's, that's a good call. Seems like it takes longer to load the further away... You are. Oh, here's our first door puzzle. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm going to do is I'm going to bring... Wait, you can't go through that? No, no, no. There's just an invisible wall. Uh, I'm going to bring Scree fine. up to um, the uh, up can, to her. And, and you then, can't give her the, you the know, torch? That's a that's a good question. Hey, that, lady. That's one of my favorite Shadow of the Colossus things is the uh, the torch. Mm-hmm. Getting the thing to back up off the cliff. Throw me that manual, Dan. Okay. There you go. Manual, Daniel. <laughs> Stop it. Sorry. Oh, nice art in here. Well, there's a thing where he said, hey, just come up to me and press triangle. And now that's not doing anything. Well, X was to pick... No, triangle was to pick stuff up, right? Mm-hmm. Hey. Oops. What's next then, Scree? The Malkai are scared of fire. If I could start a fire... In- ah! ah! Scree! <laughs> Sorry. What does that remind me of when you say it that way? I have no idea. Is this a... That's a cauldron thing. Oh, okay. That was... They hate that. <laughs> you know, that's not a really... I don't think that's great game design. Like, where there's an invisible wall. And instead, she should go in there, and they, and they should they chase her out or something like that. And yeah. then you realize, like, oh, okay. I need yeah. to fix this. Small point. Typical picky me. Should be safe or is safe? I saw the little boob bounce, Dan. Yeah, see what I mean? Just like t- five or ten pixels up and down. I blinked. I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah. It's in the cutscenes when she's walking. I'll do Clockwork Orange. I'll keep my eyes open next time. <laughs> I need to watch the movie again. It's good. Maybe you read it. It's really yeah. The book's good too. Yeah, I believe. It's it. One of the few books I actually had the patience to read. Popsicles. <laughs> it's a dumb joke. Popsicles? Is that something in the movie? Yep. Milk. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so now... On to the next door. Yeah, now she's out. You can look at my maps whenever you like. Shut up. Gross. They're updated as <laughs> we progress. How are you doing that? I think that's a clue. <laughs> yeah, you're a, heading the right way. Look at the UI on that pause screen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Pretty it's kind of cool. <laughs> Don't see that yellow used often? Cutscene? Jeez. You know, being Boy. small and made from stone... It's totally Tyrion. Advantages. 
It oh, does. Really? Let me see if Absolutely. I can see whose voice is. I can climb up any stone at the credits. Surface. Tyrion uh, now that's something that might Lannister. Be to us, don't you is this think? Game of Thrones? Yeah, played I by uh, Peter Dinklage. He's awesome. He's going to be in that uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie, isn't he? Is he? What the hell? Ha! What the Where hell? Where is it? <laughs> it X-Men? <laughs> He's in one of those. You're thinking of Dave Batista. He's different than uh, no. Peter Dinklage. <laughs> what, how? <laughs> um, Boys. Reiner, you know about the the new Marvel movies coming out, right? Is, yeah. Is is Peter Dinklage in the X Men movie or the Guardians of the Galaxy movie? He's in the X Men. X Men. Okay, I got mixed up. I'm I, actually really excited for Guardians of the Galaxy. I had I'm never sure heard of Guardians of the Galaxy until exists. they announced the uh, movie. Do you like the trailer? I didn't see it. I know. Here's what I know. <laughs> Batista's in it. That's the first thing I ever Just heard. Just stop about talking it. and watch the freaking trailer. Well, there's a big tree man and there's a raccoon with a rocket launcher or something. Yep. That's all I know. That's got to intrigue you, right? A little bit. It was probably a comic. That's about all I know. What intrigues you the most of those three things you said? Well, I don't is it really because like... of wrestlers in it, or because ah. there's a rock, a, a raccoon with a rocket launcher? Yeah. I, a, a, a raccoon with a rocket launcher sounds way cooler than Batista. Batista's not great. So yeah, the, the ra raccoon and, sounds better. And the tree dude? <laughs> yeah, the tree dude. I'd rather see either one of the main event WrestleMania over Dave Batista. Oh, Dan. Hmm. Uh, the actor... Andreas Katsoulis. That does not ring a bell. He died in 2006, unfortunately. Oh, screw his dad. You, you probably know his voice from Babylon 5. <laughs> Assume you're joking. <laughs> he was in The Fugitive. Help I saw that. Here. Executive Decision. Oh, my God. I, I used to be one of my favorite movies back in the day. You know why that movie's hilarious? Because they gave Steven Seagal top billing over Kurt Russell, and Seagal dies in like the first ten minutes. He falls off of a plane. Was it just he's super popular at the time? Damn I guess, yeah, the poster's like, Steven Seagal, and um, he just dies right away. Kurt Russell's awesome. Panic. Yeah, of they course. Smell fear, you know? John Leguizamo's in it, Halle Berry. You're not on the menu here. Oliver I'll Platt. I'll smell how I want. I'll smell how I want. <laughs> Jen from Primal. <laughs> Put that under grace. It's my party. <laughs> And I'll smell how I want to. I'll scree if I want to. Scree. I scree. Scree. Slow reveal. Uh. <laughs> Shit. Oh, come on now. Hiya! <laughs> Run away in fear? Cool character design. Yeah. Oof. Again, visually, this all looks pretty cool. You know who he reminds me of? Have you seen Kroll? Yes. I really like the Cyclops from Kroll. Kripali di Napergil. Don't worry. I Excuse me? That's what it said. Oh. I was just reading the subtitles. They <laughs> <laughs> made a language. <laughs> this runt would have me believe you're an envoy of the goddess Arella. We'll eat your chicken, you Kiev. Like I think that's what that said. Breed to me. Scree. I vote we're big enough to swallow the odd insult here. Strangers, in these treacherous times. Did he draw teeth on his goatee? Should I drive with my <laughs> goatee? I wish I could do that. I mean, you can. No one's stopping you. Trust How do you me, pronounce that name, Dan? We're here to help you. Hudson Leek. I suppose you might <laughs> have given it to the lady. Yeah. Son, then. She's a pretty lady. Well. Oh man, yeah. No. Then look at that. What was she in? No it's good use. stuff. Well, quick going into the pictures. Uh, well, and look at her film history. Okay. All right. But I'll get back listen, to the pictures. I do know what uh, it's like chill Factor. Phil Chill My Factor with Cuba Gooding, <laughs> Gooding Jr. and Skeet Ulrich. Chill Factor. <laughs> Blood Type. <laughs> unconditional. Primal, the game. <laughs> Midlife Gangster. Take this. Uh, Law and Order LA. Nothing else that anyone's ever heard of. Hey, click on Midlife Gangster. That Thanks. That sounds awesome. All right. I have uh, no it's from more 2013. Time yeah, what's it about? I must Evan Bullet James's father suddenly dies, leaving I Bullet devastated without his hero. Unable to cope with his tragic loss, Bullet decides to return to his old neighborhood gang, searching to regain power and place in his life. Nah. Nah, that's no good. Let's go back to the pictures. That's, that's good stuff. Why do you call me a half-breed? Because there's something about you you don't know. There was something about you. What is this thing? Pumpkin. I'll need Scree to help Jelly me belly. with this. I'll need is... Scree to help me with this. Scree, what are you doing? <laughs> Scree, settle <laughs> down. It's called a lodestone. 
They're important. You'll find out Scree, here. this world's confusing. Bring me back to the hospital Scree. right now. I don't know why I've been so calm about this, but I'm putting my foot down, okay? <laughs> bring me said about that. Bring me back. That sucks. Scree, it's confusing. I've only been walking around and talking to you about things. I'm cold. I'm still wearing my dumb nightclub clothes. <laughs> Scree, where are you going? This world's unstable, Tim. I know. I can feel it in the controller. Um, looks like I can cross a bridge. Nothing will happen here, right? <laughs> You'll probably get a, some kind of explanation. Oh, okay. Good. So far, so good. What do I have to do to help her get over here? That's the big question that we're building towards. To help her have fun? Yeah, maybe. Probably nothing. Maybe I don't, attack I don't a guy? think there's a lot of fun in this. Is there just a here. button like in Shadow of the Colossus to call your horse? <laughs> uh, Jen! Agro's in this game, yeah. Jason! Jason! <laughs> God, that glitch is the best thing in Heavy Rain. Yeah, uh, what should oh. people look up? Heavy, heavy on Rain, YouTube? probably a Heavy Rain Jason glitch. Yeah, look that up if you haven't seen it yet. It's just hilarious. Or no, it's Sean, isn't it? Oh, yeah, remember. Sean! It yeah, so oh, like yeah, Jason's the in the mall. Jason's yeah. at the beginning. That's right, yeah. Jason's it's the, one the Sean the glitch. Yeah, yeah, search heavy range Sean glitch. Oh yeah, because that's yeah, the climax of the game. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> that door's locked. Yeah, the other side I need to get around to. I wonder if I can climb another. The gap's too small for me. Uh, <laughs> you know who you need. Jen. What? We should. We don't want to go through there. It's just going to lead to another door and more talking. Yeah, this is a bit a bit of a plotting pace to begin with here. I, but if they just would have made a cool game around this, you oh. know, the the build up, the world, the idea, mm -hmm. production your, value, your sidekick is super cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, the production values are through the roof. It just didn't uh, didn't pay off. They're just a little little too slow to get things start off, in my opinion. But I mean, obviously, you know better. You yeah, know, you know what's around the corner. It does pick up a little bit, but. Whew. It's a slow ride through and through. Okay. So let's uh, let's move on to our second segment. All right. On this episode of Reported, we're taking a look at a game called... Actually, I have no idea what it's called. I'm going to... Is that Tweety Bird? That's yeah, Tweety Bird. Like, and it's WB. All right. We're just going to flash the box art real quick. I'm going to hand it off to Dan. I have no idea. I tried looking it up online. Couldn't find anything on it. Uh... This is a Kemco game from Japan based on Looney Tunes. I can't read this, Reiner. No. I just got back from Japan. I still you know can't what read it this. says? <laughs> read what it says in the little box, the warning box on the back that's in English. Uh, for sale and use in Japan only and commercial rental prohibited. We're going to jail! Oh my goodness. Oh no. I don't know what kind of game this is. Let's, All right. Let's make up our own story. I see Yosemite Sam on the cover, which makes me happy because he's the coolest. Yeah, he doesn't usually get a lot of... Oh, he is Tweet What? Does he have a STD or something? What's going oh, on here? Oh, it's Granny. Why'd you go for STD? <laughs> this is a dong area. It's all great. S Tweety? S Tweety. Oh, my oh, man. If you, look down, if you look down and your dork was all gray, wouldn't you be going to a doctor? <laughs> It was just his feet, Dan. No, also, look at his crotch, his little no, Tweety crotch. Also, Tweety is, they have uh, different parts. They don't have dorks and... I don't know what the... Tweety's don't have dorks. <laughs> That's the sentence I didn't expect to hear today. Yeah, well. <laughs> Cass Emerald. <laughs> Let's get it! It's the antidote for Tweety's STD. See, we're making our story, like yeah, you said. Yeah, this is exactly what yep, I wanted. That's the only thing that'll cure the, the tweet, S Tweet D. Yeah, there's one in Australia. Yep, spreading yeah. fast. Yep. Because he's a bird and he flies places. Africa exactly. does not have any. And these are the five doctors that have the cure. No, that's where he's been. I love the cure. Those oh. where his mates are. Well, this is these are happier times before his dork turned uh, gray. Good luck, Tim. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. These are probably like that exclamation mark is pretty convincing. <laughs> these are like Mass Effect choices you're making and can't even tell what uh, you're doing. One player. One. Yosemite Sam. Good choice. The dog no one cares about. Spike. Is that Spike? Oh, who cares about that thing? The jowly dog? Well... <laughs> <laughs> mm, tough choice. Oh, do you get... Do I mean, you I, like I, a stable? I, I, I really liked Sylvester. Sylvester. Yeah. Daffy! 
Oh, Zaffy's pretty good, too. He gets in a lot of trouble, though. I know, that's why I like him. He's a rabble rouser. Oh, there you go. Lots of choices. All right, looking good. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, what the hell? A second, let me just get that. Is this like a Mario 3 Overworld type of situation? Okay. Okay. Like the is this STD a board carrying game? elephant. This is <laughs> going to be. Got it. You know what? I think that uh. I, I played a um, a Dragon Ball game that was sort of like this. It's like a single player card game. What the hell is going on here? Whatever. Let's do it. It's like a Mario Party. <laughs> Battle. What? Okay. It's so weird. His random words are in English and Japanese things. Oh my God! You know what this, this is? This is Mario Party. This is Looney Tunes Mario Party on Game Boy. Oh my goodness. That's exactly what, what this is. What the hell? What year was this? What? 2001. Okay, so this was actually <laughs> yeah. the Mario Party ripoff. I don't think that was me. Oh. <laughs> I didn't. That I, was your guy, though, right? It turns out I didn't know what to do. I mean, I didn't know that B was going to launch the, the missile. Yeah, you can use the link cable. I see the little icon here. So this must be like a Mario Party that you can link up on Game Boy Advance. Wow. Sort of. People are going to want to see more of this. Oh boy, what did I just pull out? I bet Joe would like this. Joe and Matt Helgeson are both like playing this multiplayer with us, Reiner. Whoa, what? He just went to a different world. I know. It takes place across the hey, whole globe. Hey, Lola. I had the biggest crush on Lola. <laughs> I am not going. <laughs> oh, Dan, you liked uh, Gadget. Her... Yeah, I know. <laughs> I had a crush Gadget on was too. cute. I'm not some freak like you. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> How does it make any difference? That's the joke there. It's, oh. It's, it's equally, exactly, Sorry, equally I weird. Ready to just, I was, thought you were going into full-on Dan mode. No, no, was, no, 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 no. Let's ludicrous. go over here. <laughs> I don't think I was attracted to any animals at any point. It's important to know that, Tim, you were like, what, six at that time, right? Or Perfect. something? Jessica Rabbit, maybe? Uh, She's married to an animal. Yeah, Jessica Rabbit was a, a thing for me when I was a nah. kid. I was like, I know that I like the basic thing that's going on here, but I don't know why. <laughs> Anyway, this is probably too much. <laughs> cool, Lola. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> took all my money. <laughs> yeah, we have no idea if this came out in the states or not. Like, I tried to look I it doubt up. It. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Are you controlling this, or is this like Sylvester doing his turn? I haven't held. I haven't touched the controller for ten minutes. Look I, at I'm all these kidding. options. Oh, this is confusing. This is complex. This looks like all the worst parts of Mario Party. So red, okay, you landed on red. I'll look in the manual, Tim. Yeah, yeah this will help. <laughs> the back of the box just has like a circle XXX. There you go, Tim. A bunch of kanji. <laughs> cool. All right, well, I'm- But I'm, red, I bet, means battle. Because yeah. that's what you landed on. Okay. Oh yeah, that was, it was automatic. We'll see. Oh, that's going to be a red. Battle! Let's yeah. battle. Maybe I'll know what's going on. It's the same Rocket Mini game. It is! It what if that's the only one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, awesome. There's only so many buttons, so I'm going to hit this again. Yeah, this is Game Boy Advance, so there's A and B, right? You would yeah. Think. Tim, you got to whack that Is it an alternating thing? Is it alternating? No, I think it might be... Oh! Good blast. Oh, crap. Oh, not good it's, enough. It's more rhythmic than it is jammy. Did you ever do those uh, model rocket things when you were a kid? No. Those are super fun. Yeah, super I did. Super cool. I it loved was, them. We had to build one in school. Yeah, yeah. Me too. It was great. Or You ever do a Pinewood Derby? No. No? Those are great too. I did take... Uh, my parents kept me in school as long as they could, so during the summer we'd go to the science museum and we'd be in classes, so we'd do like... You know, chemistry, stuff like that. But one of them was a Lego building class. And they had an incline. And they gave you gave everyone in the class the same amount of bricks to make a car. And you had to roll it down the incline and see uh, how far you could take it. So some people were doing, like, weight shifting as oh, it would okay. go down. Uh, I just kind of went, like, four-wheel. Like, tried to keep it. Mine kind of weird off to the side <laughs> and, and crashed horribly. But, um, yeah, that was cool. I like I like those challenges where mm -hmm. you're, you're challenged to build something and then... Uh, Compete with it. Compete, yeah. That sounds really fun. I like that. Yeah, I actually like going to those classes. Like, I looked forward to going to, uh, oh, yeah. you know, this weird summer school stuff. Yep. Tim, you got a turtle card? <laughs> Is that oh. what I saw? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Battle. How's, how's that working out for you? Uh, the turtle's been good. Um, 
I think I'm gonna use it. <laughs> He's got little turtle feet. <laughs> it looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> hey Dan, I want a stream of consciousness of you reading this manual. Or just looking at what what you think you're seeing. Okay, well, there's a bunch of guys here, and there's a heart, so this might be... Uh, That's the cover. Yeah, yeah, so Taz is mad. He's going... <laughs> and then Bugs is being real low-key. Jowly Dog is being jowly. Daffy looks like he's pissed at something. Uh, then there's a bunch of Japanese when you open it up. Okay, so there's the picture of Tweety with the, the gray dork. And then there's the, the cure yeah. thing. Um, here's Tweety Bird sitting on a Game Boy Advance, and Sylvester... Looking like he wants to eat him. Did Sylvester want to eat Tweety? Was Absolutely. That the whole deal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yosemite. Man, he doesn't want to now. Everything around Yosemite. Okay. <laughs> Everything around Yosemite's eyeballs are eyebrows. Like, there's no yeah, skin. Yeah, that's true. That's weird. There's lots of hearts and stuff. I think this is some weird, like, orgy party thing, and that's what happened before, which explains the Tweety situation. So they probably all have it, and they're all competing to get the thing. So they're traveling the world trying to cure their STD. So there's one cure, and yes. only one. there's only one injection. Uh, yeah, and if you lose, you're the one that spreads it to the rest of the population, you go to jail. I wish I had any sense of where I am. Oh, is that me? Am I the red one? Must be. So uh. then there might be... Oh, I see what you're saying. There's a weird female Taz with lipstick. That looks gross. I think that's just him dressed up as a lady. No, that's definitely a female Taz. Okay, I'm trying to make my way towards the green one that's in the UK. <laughs> All right, here are the different items you can get, Tim. Uh, you can get a shark. You can get a piece of green bacon. You can get a saw. You can get an ant that's he has crapping the shark. fire. You got the shark. That's a whale. Okay, you got okay. The whale uh, teeth their own. There's a treasure chest. There's a dagger on a necklace. Uh, there's lots of uh, bracelets. There's an angry bee. And there's a bell with an S on it, so that's probably pretty good. Bells are like just constant things in Japanese video games. Yes, it's uh, it's really interesting. I think this might be the the skunk that's trying to have sex with everyone. Pepe that would explain. Yeah. It. I bet Pepe he's. Pepe. I bet he started all this. Oh, here's, what's this? <laughs> here's Porky Pig drowning. Oh, Pac-Man ghosts and Luigi's. In the bottom right. It's a dead egg. What is this? Throw apples at him. Yeah, apple him. Oh, it's okay. Urgh, get out of there. You got him. Is that Monty Mole? Apple him. Apple him. Oh, is that bad? No, that's good. Your multiplier's going up. You're winning. Mm. Whack a Mole's a fun game. I haven't played that yeah. one in too long. Actual Whack a Mole is great. Yeah. I love it. Oh, crap. Just get out of reflexes. Whoever created that game, it must have been a tough sell. <laughs> it gets so chaotic. Just imagine that yeah. pitch. Yeah. Like, you have to have a prototype. You can't go in a room and just demand money to make that. Man, let's play Whack-A-Mole sometime, okay. guys. Okay, a replay? <laughs> yeah, real-life replay, Whack-A-Mole. You know what else I like to tie back into our first one? Ski-Ball. Oh, yeah. Ski-Ball's really good. That was his name, right? Scree or Ski? I did it. Scree. Scree-Ball. Scree -ball. Playing Scree-Ball. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty ski good. I suck at Ski-Ball. I'm okay at Whack-A-Mole. Why am I down here now? I'm so confused. Like, I was trying to go to the UK. <laughs> oh, where are you now? I'm in Africa. Africa. Huh. Yosemite Sam, I don't know. Maybe he'd go on like a safari in Africa or something. I feel like he'd, he'd do, uh, he'd probably try to hunt a bunch of different animals like zebra. Yeah. Oh, he'd, he'd love it down there. Yeah. yeah. Good job, Sylvester. I really like Syl I liked Sylvester. Like, I had that Taz phase. Which is sort of like the Boba Fett of the Legion yeah, universe. Is like, Fett. He's just cool. I think he earned it a little bit more than Boba Fett did because Boba Fett kind of was a blunder. Um, and uh, I, but then I ended up landing on uh, Sylvester and Bugs Bunny for a long time. I really liked them. Here's the best Looney Tunes characters. You got your Simdy Sam, you got Foghorn Leghorn, and then everything going on with Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner. Right. Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner is the best thing Looney Tunes has done. They're great. Yeah. Oh, I love Looney Tunes. Yeah. And we've argued about this before. They're so much better than Disney. Exactly. That's yeah. the thing I argued about before. Disney is stupid as hell. It's no, just... It's no, so no, 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 no. You see, Dan, dogs Dan and that's not the argument that you need to have. But you they had wit. Looney Tunes had wit. I, I've watched Disney cartoons, and I don't know what that... Like, DuckTales was cool, but I'm talking about, like, old, boring Disney. Like, Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. I think and pound for pound, do? Looney Tunes is better, but that doesn't make Disney awful. I They're think, both pretty damn no, good, No, because you, like and Dale, and you like Chip and Dale, and you like DuckTales. I do like Chip and Dale and DuckTales. That's and, the thing, the 90s cartoons did it were fine. Well, that's still Disney, so Duck. you can't... All right. You can say, yeah, you, 
I'm it saying the core the thing of Mickey Mouse driving boats around and Donald Duck quacking. I don't know. I, I've watched all those things and I don't know what the hell's going on. It's just in any too. It's just too innocuous. Yeah, there's just yeah. nothing going on. This had wit. and This was clever. This was more like the Muppets and Disney was just idiots hey, walking around being dogs or the something. The Muppets are awesome. Yes, I know. That's what I'm saying. That, I'm, I'm comparing Looney Tunes to the Muppets in that it's clever that's and witty. That's the third cog we should put into this. Oh yeah, discussion. the Muppets are incredible. They're, they're great. Muppet Babies. Muppet Babies is very, so very good. good. Yes. And yes. the fact that they could use Indiana Jones and Star Wars and stuff that blew my mind. That I finally figured out like the it was the Jim Henson connection oh, and stuff. Oh okay. I actually just recently figured that out because it stood out to me as so strange. And they had uh, how, like Howard the Duck and crap. Yeah. Like, yeah. why is this in the opening credits for Muppet Babies? <laughs> if you are watching this and you're a younger viewer and you didn't grow up watching any Muppet Babies, just go watch the, like the intro on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, oh. I saw it. Wait, are these people that are all interested in capturing Tweety? And so Tweety is covered in stone, so everyone has this like limited window to get to Tweety? And we're all trying to get to her. To her. It's a her, right? Before I, she maybe? unfreezes. Well, I don't know. Him? Oh, there's that skunk. He's a creep. He really was. Yeah, his episodes, even as a kid, were, were kind of creepy. Hey, cut that out. Like, call the cops on this guy. This, <laughs> you know what? I think that taught me some lessons on how like not to treat yeah. girls early on. Where I was like, this guy is awful. And they don't want any of this attention. Yeah, and, and he's not giving up on it. Yeah. Yeah, he sucks. And skunks should not fornicate <laughs> with cats. I've learned that. I've been very adamant about that. You read my my uh, Dead Space 3 review. It's all in there. Well, people, if well, you're out, if you I make cartoons and you watch this, if you're making Saturday morning cartoons and stuff like that, think about that. You know, the lessons you could teach kids, maybe about mm -hmm. Twitter, social media, stuff like that. We, we definitely Twitter. need some help there. Have an episode where you throw Pepe Le Pew in the clink. Has to tell his neighbors that he moves in. <laughs> Pepe Sylvester's going to get that gem. I was never big on Sylvester and Tweety. I was like Tom and Jerry. It seemed like it was the same concept, right? It's a cat trying to get to a damn uh... bird. Wasn't it? See, I never really watched a lot of Sylvester and Tweety. Tom and Jerry was great, though. Sylvester and Tweety had more personality and different flavors of what was going on, whereas well, Tom and Jerry was just just about I'm gonna kill that exactly. That it's, damn it's, mouse. it's itchy and scratchy. It's awesome. Which itchy and scratchy on its own is a great little series within yep. a series. Mm -hmm. Lola, what? Tim, what did you learn here? Oh well, I don't know any Japanese uh, <laughs> at all. That's not true. You were saying a bunch of it when we were in Japan. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can I can make some basic conversational stuff. You can't read it. No, no, not at all. Did we figure anything out uh, about the game? Kind of Mario Party Party E. Party. I mean, I, I think I explained the plot. I'm pretty confident that that's everyone's trying to get the Tweety. I, I don't like, know what the gems have to do with anything. I yeah, think, like there's those orbs up top. I don't. Granny has something to do with the gems. Fourteen, all one oh eight. But I bet this would be fun if it was readable. Uh, <laughs> it, it, the the visuals are good. Um, you know, I feel like uh, this could be a real a real interesting game. Well, that's gonna end our episode of replay. Um, boy, I wish we would have play, played this maybe multiplayer. It might have been a little bit more fun. Uh, but this came out on Game Boy Advance. Um, no idea of the year. If you have 2001. Any, 2001, it says in the back of the box. But if you have any information on this game, please let us know in the comments, and uh, we'd appreciate that. So thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next week on Replay.